Welcome back to the channel guys and girls. Uh, just like the title says, this is gonna be just, just a short video of the Snow Dog Sport 22. This is the things that I've added to it to make it my running gun machine basically. So right now we've had a ton, a ton of snow on top of some wet ice. So we actually have a ton of slush underneath here. And the Snow Dog is doing good, but there's been some build up in the track system. So I've had to stop a couple times and like push that slush out of there. I'm just kind of a pain in the butt, but let's go over what I've done so far. And I, I am fishing right now, so if I do stop in the middle of this, that's because I see a lake trout on the thing. So, um, I put two sets of Coleman, like gun rack style things on the handlebars here. And make sure you don't pinch the cables when you do this or run the cables underneath. Put those on there. Mine came with a little cigarette lighter, which is kind of nice. I put those on there, I put uh, the auger on one, and then I have my live sonar bar on the other one. So I drill a hole, put the auger back, and then I put the uh, sonar thing down for the live scope. I've also built this box that kind of matches the profile of the frame. So what this does is it holds my sonar and gloves at the current moment. And uh, this is just made out of plywood. And what it does is it holds my spare belt and rope and oil and all sorts of other tools underneath there. And it just kind of like locks in and then my bag goes right on top of that. This is just the Garmin Live Scope with a Summit Fishing bag and setup on there. Then I have just a little cheap, cheapo gas can off Amazon mounted to the side. So I am running studs, I'm running the coal cutters and they're I think 5 eighths of an inch. I'll leave the link for all of this stuff below as always. But I have one in, one on the outside and then one in the middle and one on the outside and then one, or you know, two on the outside and one in the middle. That's the pattern I'm running. And then I'm running the Eskimo 42 inch rod locker. And it took me a while to figure out how I was gonna rig it, but I think I got it down to where I want it. So I put a piece of angle iron Aluminum angle iron, that's the whole length of this. You can buy that stuff at Home Depot or, or uh, your hardware store in there. I took all the pipes out. And then I put a hole through it with one of these little clips. And I bought one of these, bought this at the hardware store. I bought this off Amazon. Got a longer bolt from the hardware store. And it's a metric bolt, so you just need to find one of those. Put that on there, and then I took a piece of aluminum strapping and clipped it onto there. So whenever I want to pull my sled on foot. I can just unclip this, unclip this, and I can take this whole thing off. And when I want to get into my tackle box, this rested on my knee like this. And I can get into my tackle bag right there. So hopefully that answers your guys' questions. I've got three or four, maybe even five questions on what have you done to the snow dog so far. This is really only my second time taking it out. We've had the worst ice fishing season so far on record like as far as ice making right now i went from six inches down to two with the snow dog i was very scared i turned right around and i came back to where i am right now so thanks for watching i'll leave the description uh and links for everything below and uh yeah the box is pretty simple to make i know a lot of people have the original box or the, the milwaukee pack out but uh ne neither of those fit my needs so i made something custom thanks for watching